Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to resolve the problem of access denied. You are not allowed to access this page at this time. You see, when you get a problem like what I'm seeing here, it normally happens when you are trying to log into your Facebook account. And there are several reasons why it actually happens. I will be able to, I will take you through the step-by-step -step process of how to get this problem resolved. There are about three major reasons why it happens, okay? In fact, there are even two major ones. The third one is not a major one, but the major reasons why it happens are two of them. Before I continue, if you are new to this channel, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and then if we produce other videos like this, you'll be able to see. Thank you so much, and then let's continue. Now, you see, the, reason, the number one reason why this happens is you are trying, you are using a phone number with your Facebook password to log in. That's the number one reason why it happens. And the number two is that, it, in fact, it depends on the internet bundle, uh, the internet uh, what, uh, provider, depends on the internet provider. So we're going to tackle them one by one so that you see how it will be resolved. So the first one, this one, I was trying to use a phone number and that is why the problem happened. So this time around, I'm going to use an email and let's see whether it will happen or not. As you can see, it has logged in. So it wasn't logging in because I was trying to use the phone number with the password to log in. So this is what you have to do. The first way of resolving it is that add an email to your Facebook account so that when you add the, the email, you now use the email with the password to log in. That's the first uh, step to solve it. So let's go. You click here, go to settings and privacy. You go to settings. You will see personal details. So under personal details, when you go down, you see um, personal details. Then when you check, you see contact info. So if you don't have email added, you add your email to the account and verify that email. So if I want to add, how do I add? I'll just click on add new contact to add email address. Then I'll put the email. They will send a code to my email and I'll put the code there and verify it. So that is adding the email. After you add the email, try to log in again. And I tell you that it will log in. It will log in successfully. Now, let us exhaust. Let's go for the second option. Okay. So as you can see, I've logged out. If I try to log in again with the phone number, you will see something. If I try to log in again <clears throat> with the phone number, check and see something again. As you can see, the same problem again, access denied. You're not allowed to access this page at this time. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this time around, I'm not, I'm still going to use phone number, but I'll change the internet service provider. So I am in Ghana. I, I'm using Vodafone internet. That's my mobile uh, phone. For the phone internet now i'm changing to my wi-fi let's let me change to the my wi-fi and the wi-fi internet provider is a different company from the first one okay so after changing to the second one it is still telling me access denied but most for most of the time if you change the internet provider it is likely to work i have done it on several occasions and when i change the internet service provider it always works. So you can try it and see. Or let me begin. Let me try to do it all over again. Good. So as you can see, I've used the phone number, <clears throat> but it has logged in. And it has logged in because I have changed the internet service provider from Vodafone to MTN. I know. If you follow the same procedure, if you use these two steps that I have just indicated, you will get a solution. Um, the last one is sometimes it is a security. It is a security um, reason why they prevent you from logging in. It is a security um, check. So they want to make sure that probably sometimes you may be logging in at a different location from where you usually log in. So in that case, you can try resetting your password. But as I said, that one is a minor reason why that problem may happen. The two major causes of that problem is what I indicated earlier. And if you follow it, you are going to get a solution. 
If you still follow it and you don't get a solution, remember to leave your comments in the comment section and like this video. Follow the WhatsApp link to WhatsApp us and we can help you further. Once again, thank you and bye-bye.